Josh, do you take Megan to be your wife? Do you promise to be faithful to her and cherish her? Do you promise to nurture her dreams and encourage her passions? Do you promise to pursue her and love her like Christ loves the church for the rest of your life? I do. Megan, do you take Josh to be your husband? Do you promise to be faithful to him and cherish him? Do you promise to nurture his dreams and encourage his passion? Do you promise to pursue him and love him like Christ loves the church for the rest of your life? I do. A godly marriage must always have God in the center and stand firm on love. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you, at least once a day. It's never going to bed angry. It's standing together and facing the world. It is speaking words of appreciation and affirmation always, and demonstrating gratitude in the thoughtful ways. It is having the capacity to forgive and forgive. It is giving each other an atmosphere in which each can grow closer to God together. These everyday moments fuse together into one big experience. And even though this experience is so incredible, words fail us when we try to explain it. That's just the way love is. It is my honor to pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Josh, you can